guys okay so this is going to be my first pregnancy video and it even sounds weird for me to say that like pregnancy video what is life like I cannot believe it but I'm so excited to be doing this video pretty much I am going to be letting you guys know exactly what's been going on with me from the day I found out up until today so yeah I'm 14 weeks and five days today so I'm just gonna let you guys know everything that I've been going through the good the bad the ugly some of the stuff that I might talk about maybe a little TMI for some people but I just want to keep it all the way 100 I want to keep it all the way real with you guys because I want you to know what I've been going through because when I first found out I was pregnant I started um, YouTubing for the these type of videos and they're really helpful so I'm hoping that maybe by doing these type of videos that I can help somebody or just for you who are curious and want to know and think it's fun to watch these type of videos then they're for you um, too so um yeah I am in baby's little nursery right now we have started decorating a little bit not too much like once we know the gender and everything like that we'll start painting and doing a little bit more but I'm just so excited for all of this stuff and and these videos they're not gonna have any type of you know outline to them I don't know what I'm gonna be talking about I'm pretty much just gonna talk about stuff as it comes to my head so um yeah um the first thing I think I want to talk about is the fact that Colton and I were not trying because a lot of people are like well like what do you mean you weren't trying if you were having unprotected sex then weren't you trying so let me break it down for you guys who don't really understand what I'm saying so when Colton and I got married, it was 2013, and whenever we got married, or before we got married, I stopped taking my birth control probably, I would say about three months before our wedding, because I always heard the longer you were on birth control, the harder it was to actually have kids and conceive and I'm not sure how true that is but just in case it was true I wanted to go ahead and get off of my birth control because I didn't want to have any side effects from being on it too long or anything like that so I went ahead and stopped taking my birth control about three months before our wedding date and since we got married up until today or not today but up until um, I got pregnant, then what we were using for birth control was the pullout method. And when I tell you Colton's pullout game was strong, I mean, it was like all the way strong on 100. And I know you're probably like, well, it wasn't too strong if y'all got pregnant. Well, literally the day we got pregnant was like one of the very few times that we actually did not pull out. Um, that's why I know the exact day that it happened because literally I can count on one hand how many times we have not used the pullout method and still have some fingers left over. So when I tell you it only takes one time, then I literally mean it. Like I know people tell kids that all the time, like don't have sex, it only takes one time. It literally only takes one time. And I um, never thought that out of the few times that we actually did have full like unprotected sperm going up in me sex that I would get pregnant because we've only done that very few times um I just was not expecting it that's why I was so like whoa I cannot believe this because literally one time it only takes one time um so now I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I've been feeling since um I actually found out up until today so when I found out I think I was like six weeks and two days and my period had been late the week before that we actually had went to the beach and I took like all of the goods you know everything that mother nature you know requires because I have that app that's called clue and it literally keeps up with my periods like no other and like I told you guys um, in the vlog I've always had like normal periods like clockwork 28 day periods they have always been like that my entire life I've never had late periods never skipped months or anything like that so when I was late I was just kind of like hmm like I'm not really sure what's going on here which you guys know that um, I had been working out and doing different stuff like that so I figured maybe that had something to do with it I wasn't exactly sure 
But when we were at the beach, I noticed that I was so tired. I was still working out when we were at the beach, like, and I was working out pretty strenuous, but I noticed I was just like getting tired so quick. Like when I worked out when we were down at the beach, it's like I would have to take a nap whenever I got home. And I didn't really think too much about it. I just thought that I was exhausted. And funny story, when we were at the beach, I had the weirdest dream ever. And I even told Colton about it. So I don't know if you guys know or not, but Colton has this big gaudy tattoo across his stomach that says Pearson, which is our last name. And I had a dream that I had had a baby, a huge baby. Like the baby was about 20 pounds. And when the baby came out, it had Pearson across its stomach. And I was traumatized. <laughs> like I could not believe it. I was like, no. And I remember telling him about that dream and I just thought it was so strange, which I've had some of the strangest, strangest dreams since I've been pregnant. So um, yeah, I was really tired that week at the beach, which then I probably was about five weeks pregnant and I didn't know it. And I was wanting cereal a lot, which was really strange because cereal wasn't anything that had been in my normal like eating routine or anything like that because I pretty much been having like protein shakes and like I was on this big health kick. So cereal was strange, but I was eating like Raisin Bran. That was the cereal of choice. But um, so yeah, when we got home, I decided to take a pregnancy test because I was feeling just tired and not like myself. Like I would work out and I would be exhausted. And plus my period was late. So I went ahead and I took the pregnancy test. It seems like once I took that pregnancy test, you guys, which that was like week six, I was just feeling horrible that entire week. Week six and week, like half of week seven was probably like the worst. It was the worst ever. I remember being like, who would want to be pregnant if they felt like this? So I had a constant headache and I was never a person to have headaches. So that was really strange for me. I would go to bed with a headache and I would wake up with a headache. I had a pain in my lower back that just felt like somebody was like almost stabbing me in the back per se. And it was a constant pain. I remember one point in time, it was so bad that I was in tears, like literally. Um, let's see what else was something. Oh, I was constipated. I remember being so constipated whenever um, I first found out, which was like week six and week seven. And then I also had cramping. See, that's why I thought that I was going to start my period because I was having cramping that felt like period cramps, but they weren't period cramps. They were like, I guess, cramps from my uterus expanding and growing. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, I was having cramping. Um, I personally didn't experience, and I haven't experienced any um, bleeding or spotting. So um, yeah, I did want to let you guys know because a lot of people say that, that exp they experienced that, but I haven't personally, which I know one thing that's really funny now, I always check my underwear whenever I go to the bathroom now. I'm like, okay, like let me make sure that there's nothing going on down there. And I'm like, checking the toilet. I don't know. I guess it's just a part of being pregnant. Like you want to make sure that everything is going good down there. So yeah, pretty much week six and seven, they were just pretty horrible for me. I was nauseous. Um, I vomited and I have vomited. Um, I wouldn't say a lot, but probably more than most, because a lot of the videos that I'd watch, people would say that they felt nauseous, but they never really vomited. Well, I was feeling nauseous, and I would actually vomit whenever I felt, whenever I felt nauseous, and I actually had to take the gummy, um, the gummy prenatals because they were the only thing that I could keep down. I couldn't swallow like those big horse pills. So yeah, my doctor said it was fine for me to take the gummies, but now I'm actually taking like one that um, I ordered offline and it is a really big pill, but I think I'm gonna um, also get some more of the gummies for when I'm feeling a little bit 
more nauseous in the morning because although I am in my second trimester now, um, there has been a few mornings that I've just woke up and not wanted to swallow that big pill. And I know a lot of people say that they'll take their prenatals at night because it doesn't bother them as bad. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much everything for week six and seven. Um, constipated, mild cramping, lower back pain, um, constant headache. At week eight, I do have that I was having morning sickness that week and that I also was having um, a sinus cold. I was very, very congested. Um, excuse me. And it was tough because there were like limited things that I could take and I didn't want to um really take too many things i didn't want to take anything because if i could go without taking it then that's what i wanted to do because you know you really don't want to take the stuff if you don't have to because you know like if you don't absolutely have to take it then what's the point of doing so um so week nine i didn't really have anything marked for week nine so i'm guessing everything was good to go on week 10 um i said i had a little bit of mild cramping and that was something that i still experience now it's not like major cramping but it's like it just almost feels like my uterus is stretching kind of I don't know it's strange I can't really explain it um I don't have too much marked down for 11 12 or 13 so um since then I have been feeling pretty much normal but it was the beginning when I just felt piglet you okay <laughs> he's scratching but it's making a loud noise because his nails were hitting the hardwood. I totally forgot to put this in my notes, but I did want to mention this because I thought this was the strangest thing ever. So in the beginning and still a little bit now, I would have the strangest taste, taste in my mouth. And I Googled it. A lot of people were saying, is it like a metal taste? And it wasn't like a metal taste. It was like a sweet taste, if that makes any sense. It was the strangest thing ever. It's like I would eat something and then I would have this, like this taste in my mouth that I couldn't like, I don't know. It was just so strange. I still will get it occasionally now. Like I will have to chew gum to get that taste out of my mouth. But it was just so strange. I cannot explain it. If any of you ever experienced that while you were pregnant, then let me know if you know what I'm talking about. But it's almost like I couldn't get the taste out of my mouth. Like no matter how much water I drank, I just could not shake that taste in my mouth. It was very, very strange. But like I said, it wasn't a metallic or metal taste. It was like a sweet taste. It was very, very strange. And I even told my doctor about it and she didn't seem to be too concerned. So I don't know if it's something that normally women go through. Um, whenever I Googled it, I did see a few forums where people were talking about it. But um, yeah, it was just strange. Like, I can't explain it. I know you guys are probably like, what are you even talking about? But it was just like the strangest taste in my mouth. Um, and as of now, the only thing that has been really going on with me is that I've been having the constant urge to go to the bathroom. Like, sometimes I'll go and there's not even anything. Like, it's just like, dee, 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 like two or three little drops. It's crazy. But um, it feels like my bladder is about to bust. It's very, very strange. But before now, like... I haven't experienced that before. So that's just been a symptom that I've had during week 14. And another thing that's been really strange is I've had this pain in the back of my leg, like right here, there's been this pain and it just feels so strange, almost like my leg is trying to expand or grow. So I'm definitely going to let my doctor know about that whenever I go to my next doctor's visit. Um. But I think that's pretty much everything. Now, I did have a couple of bad nights in the beginning. Like, the beginning was really tough for me. I remember one night I did not sleep at all because I had that really bad back pain. Um, one night when I woke up, I was literally throwing up on one end and, like, using the bathroom out the other end. I know that's, like, TMI, 
but th that was some of the things that I experienced while um, you know I was in the early stages of pregnancy and I think it's just so important to take it easy during that first trimester because it's the most crucial stage I feel like because the baby is developing so much during the first trimester so definitely try to take it easy I didn't really work out a lot during my first trimester whenever I did want to do something just to keep myself active it was just walking and that's pretty much what I'm doing now I'm just doing like uphill walking and I'll do like a few arm exercises and as of now I haven't had any weight gain so I'm really surprised about that actually when I went to the doctor um, when I went to the doctor the last time, I had lost like five pounds. So she asked me what was going on if I had been um, sick or anything like that. And I told her I had been vomiting. And she asked me had it been like on an everyday basis or anything like that. And I was telling her, no, you know, I haven't been throwing up on a daily basis, but I had been sick. So um, I read online that that's common. A lot of people do lose weight within their first trimester. Um, but yeah, as far as exercising and stuff, I haven't been doing too much because I've just wanted to take it easy. Like, I definitely want to still stay in shape. And some of the craziest comments that I've gotten is like, oh my gosh, like right after you lost all of that weight. And I mean, I get it, but it's like, I've lost the weight before. I can lose it again. So I'm not that worried about it that worried about it and I know what I look like with 25 pounds of extra weight on me because that's how much weight I initially lost um, you know when I was on my fitness journey and hopefully I don't gain any more than 25 pounds during the pregnancy I don't plan on it but it'll be like a totally different weight gain because like it'll be the baby and all the other stuff so I'm not really worried about it I know that I'll be able to lose the weight whenever I have the baby but right now I just want to focus on enjoying the pregnancy because you know this may you know we might want to have another kid but who knows if we'll be blessed to have another kid so this may never happen again so I definitely just want to enjoy being pregnant and I'll worry about losing the weight whenever that comes but I'm hoping that I can just stay semi-active during this pregnancy at least walking and doing like my arm exercises and stuff like that and I won't have to worry about weight gain because my appetite hasn't really increased as of now now I know in the future that that probably will change of course but I think a lot of the times in pregnancy people get so caught up in eating for two that they really take that literal and you know the baby's so little you're not really eating for two you're just eating to help nurture the baby so um yeah I'm not really taking the whole eating for two thing to my head like I'm just eating like I normally would the doctor said that the only difference from previous and now is I should probably consume about 300 to 350 calories more so that's pretty much what I'm doing and we all know 350 calories is not that much like you can eat a snack that's 350 calories so um yeah as far as like being healthy and stuff during this pregnancy I definitely want to but I don't want to like focus too much on that to where I don't enjoy the pregnancy like I want to be healthy but I don't want to just like overdo it to the point where it's like you know it's just over the top or anything like that so I feel like that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about so that's pretty much I guess my first trimester week six up until now which is week 14 um it goes a little bit over into my second trimester which there's so much confusing stuff about what is considered um the second trimester online like my doctor said week 13 was considered the second trimester but some people say week 12 some people say week 14 so I don't know different apps say different things as well and I wanted to show you guys some of the apps that I have saved on my phone so I have this little thing called pregnancy and I have the what to expect the pregnancy baby bump baby names which we have been trying to figure out baby names um, I think we have a few picked out then I have one called the bump my favorite one is this one called sprout I love this one so much because it literally 
Uh oh, Colton's calling. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, but the app that I was showing you guys, this one is called, what did I say it was called? It's called Sprout or Pregnancy Plus, if you guys can see that. But I love this app because it literally shows you like how big the baby is whenever you're at a specific week and it compares it to the fruit like right now it's saying our little baby is the size of a kiwi and it just tells you all of these um different things about what's going on with the baby right now so that has to be my favorite one so um yeah i think that's pretty much all that i wanted to talk to you guys about and um i'll try to do these update videos like once a week if i have anything to update you guys on and if not at least every other week because like the past couple of weeks there hasn't been too much going on with me but i'll try to keep better notes so i can really let you guys know what's going on since you guys now know the news and i'm so super duper excited about it but um yeah if you guys like these videos then let me know give me a thumbs up and um there will definitely be more to come because i'm super duper excited you guys like the giraffe i got that off of amazon i'll put a link below and then we already have so many diapers and stuff i know people think that i'm crazy but literally we just want to be pro Prepared. We want to be prepared for the little baby. But anywho, um, oh, I wanted to show you guys my baby bump. <laughs> it is not very worthy of showing now, but um, I definitely wanted to share with you guys just so I can look back on this video and see how big I was at 14 weeks. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and share that with you guys now. pregnancy video I hope I wasn't too chit chatty with you guys but I'm just so excited to finally be able to talk about it so yeah if you guys are over on Nutri B TV then I'm guessing you probably want to hear all of this anyways but thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time on Nutri B TV bye <laughs>